Guys, if you're watching this, make sure you subscribe. If you want to watch the whole thing, you can watch it on YouTube, Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Welcome back to another episode of Saving Grace. Today, we've got the queen of TikTok on. It's not me. It's Madeline. Say hello. 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 I was going to do a little round of applause. That was nice. Thank you. Um, We're going to go back to the beginning. We're going to shoot it back. Starting TikTok. Mm -hmm. When did you start? How did you start? Spill the tea. I actually have no idea when I started. I think like last March. What? Really? Something That's like quite that. soon. Last, yeah, yeah. So it was after. It was. It wasn't during COVID or anything. It was after. No, wow. I think. I think it was like the very end bit of lockdown where it was like not actually lockdown. What? You grew really yeah. quick. Thanks. I might have it wrong. I might. I think before that, I had like a few like weird videos up. Like yeah, yeah. Like random wow. ones with my friends. Do you remember yeah. what your first like video that went viral was? Yeah. What was it? It's that? so on brand as well. I'm ready. I was saying that I had like, I was meeting the queen. Right. And so I grew out my pubes. Like, I saw this video. Did you? I think so. It's not even up anymore. I you took it down. You grew your pubes? Yeah. To see like, but I thought it would just be funny like to know in my head. I was 15. I don't know why this was like going on for me. But I just thought it'd be really entertaining, like to know that I had loads of pubes whilst I was meeting the queen. No, I was thinking of the girl that grew her leg hair when she had an operation. That's completely no, different. No, that's not. Sorry, me. my bad. I've seen so her. So you though. actually met the queen? No, she she was ill or something. I met her, the oh, Princess Anne. You met? I can I think she's kind of cool. She's quite cool. She got quite like sexy. tried to get kidnapped. She went fuck off. Did she? Iconic. Yeah. Really. Apparently, I get told to look like her as well. So I don't know how I feel about that. You you don't. Thank you. I only appreciate. Not that. at all. She nice to you. I didn't talk to her. Oh, what were you meeting her for? I didn't meet her, to be fair. Duke of Edinburgh. I was, we were, it was my mum was getting a little award. What? So, no, can sorry. I ask what it was for? Yeah, she's like, she's like a campaigner. So she wow. was like a... She's going know. to heaven then. Yeah. Love that. Probs. So you're predominantly TikTok now. You don't have any other jobs. It is TikTok. Yeah. Love that. I know. That is what we love to see. I know. I feel like people never take it seriously. You know, when you're like, I'm a TikToker. Yeah. They're like... Okay. Yeah, no. All right. I even say it with like a painful look yeah, on my no, face. I always feel like people think I'm Addison Ray or something. Yeah, no, disgusting. No, <laughs> <laughs> no offense, Addison. Whoops. You're a nice person. I don't know. Did not me. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> fucker. Um, <laughs> what did your parents think when you were like? Because I always feel like there's a conversation where you're like, oh yeah, I'm doing TikTok, or whatever, and they always think right, but then you're actually like, no, no, no I'm doing TikTok. Yeah. Like, did you have that combo? Well. My dad has been like, put like, like he doesn't like blink an eyelid when I tell him what I do. Yeah. And then like two weeks ago, I was at his house for dinner and he was like, oh yeah, I've Googled you. <laughs> and I was like, fuck, I know exactly what comes up yeah. when you Google me these days. So I was like, that's fucking brilliant. I've got a bit of explaining to you. He didn't, he did not like elaborate. He didn't ask a oh, single you question. you didn't have to explain or anything to him. You were just like, okay. I don't think he wanted to know. He was like, yeah, I, I Googled you. And then he just let it drop. And I was like, brilliant. <laughs> Okay, fine. That's, fine. that's fine. So they're fine with that. Yeah, they don't care. Don't care. Love mm. that. So how old are you? Twenty two. I have a degree, so I think that's why they're fine with it. They're like, you've done. What did you uni. do? Where did you go? Linguistics. That's quite rogue. Like, how did you get into that? It's quite cool, though. I actually think I just fancied my like English teacher at school. Yeah, we've all been there. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Listen, so forget you. Bye. I pursued it. <laughs> <laughs> I got a degree out of that shit. Yeah. Love that. Had to be done. Did I you couldn't like do anything uni? else. No. Did you not? No, I fucking You weren't a party it. girl? No. Oh, you weren't? No. Wow. Yeah. Did you like, so you didn't like halls? Oh, I liked halls. Rude. But I would just drink in my room alone. <laughs> like, I had one friend. <laughs> <laughs> I had a friend and we would drink from like, we would just start drinking at like 7 p.m. And then we'd sleep at like 7 a.m. And there was like a four month Fuck period no. where we didn't see sun. And we watched The Purge. Have you seen The Purge? Yeah, yeah like no vitamin D. Literally none. Oh, we watched yeah. The Purge, like the series, it, which is terrible. Don't ever waste your time I on quite it. like The Purge. Do you? No, not the films. The series. Oh, the series? Yeah. Didn't even know there was one. There is. There is, yeah. <sighs> Fuck it up. Yeah, it sounds like a dark time, I'll it be was. honest. I'll be really great. honest. So no, you I... finished that, what, last year? This year? This year? Are you finished this year? Fuck In like me. June. Yeah. Oh, that's really soon. I know. Do you find it... Right. Did you find it difficult when people started knowing who you were at uni? No one ever did because I never fucking went. Oh, okay. I didn't show my face once. Yeah. Although there was one time when I slipped up really bad. I was on like a group project and I was like, I was talking about something. 
And then I like pulled out a picture and they were like, is that who I think it is? And then I had to explain. Oh. And that was really unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> you're, like, you're never going to fucking guess who we're in a group with at uni. No way. And I feel like, to be fair, that's all right. If you're mm. going out all the time, like when I was going out at uni, I was like, fuck it, I feel like Britney Spears. Really? Yeah, I wouldn't get free drinks though. Oh, why? There's no point. Yeah, I was like, they just like, can we have a pick? I'd be like, yeah, and then they walk off. I'd be like, could oh, I actually get rude. a Zambuca shot? Out that is, that is, that is right? completely pointless. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, get me money's worth out of this. Yeah. But yeah, fine, love that. Are you going to do, so future wise, are you just going to do TikTok or do you not know where you're going to go? God knows. Wind takes you anywhere. Wherever the wind oh, takes you. I fucking me. love that. Okay, mm-hmm. fine. Mm-hmm. Now, I want to clear up some things. You used to be bald. I did used to be bald. Love that. Why? Yeah. Couldn't tell you. Really couldn't <laughs> tell you. But when I did it, I like didn't tell anyone I was doing it. And then I called up my what? girlfriend at the time and she just cried on FaceTime. Like tears. Real tears. Real ones, yeah. Because she thought you were ugly? Because she thought I was ugly. Did you stay together after that? No, not for long, no. <gasps> No, so you were bald and single. Bald and single, and the stress of the breakup gave me acne. So I was bald, single. Spotty. Spotty. Alone. Alone. <laughs> <laughs> That's mad. Yeah. yeah, I bet she sees you now and she's like, well. <laughs> I fucking hope so. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you for That's, I always think about that when like, I think about like exes, I bet they're all just like, what the fuck? Yeah. What the uh, fuck has happened? Do you know what? I was, I was thinking about this actually last night. I was talking about it to my friend and I was like, I would just be so pissed off. Fuming. 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 Like sick to my stomach. Or if it was someone that I wasn't, for, like I fell out with. Yeah. If someone I hated got well known, I'd be like, if only you all know. Yeah. So you've had people probably say that about us. They're like, if you only knew they were bitches. Yeah. I feel like I've not wronged that many people. But the people that I have wronged, they're definitely upset. 100%. I'd say as well, I've only got a few, but them, I feel like they're going around uh, going. They can't stop thinking about it. We've probably got voodoo dolls. Do you reckon? Like, yeah, yeah. They're stabbing up pins in our eyes. Yeah. Up our ass. Yeah. And it's I do get there. really bad butthole cramps on my penis. Do you? Oh, really um, bad. shooty ass. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what it's called? That's what it's called. Well, it's I don't know. That's what term. I call it. Yeah. Shoot. It's <laughs> yeah. so bad. The scientists it's paralyzing like, as well. It is. And you can't even hide it. You're like. Yeah, I know. It's hell. Yeah. I love being a woman. Yeah, um, so bald. You're, you've got quite long hair now though. How long ago were you bald? Like two years. That's March 2020. Lot, though. Lockdown? Yeah. You were The week hell. before lockdown, I shaved my fucking head. To be fair, I feel like that's everyone was shaving their head during lockdown or I giving know, themselves n- mullets. I like to think I was slightly ahead of that trend. You were. You started it. I did. I'll say because I looked so good. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, because I gave myself, I look like Joe Exotic. I cut myself like some bangs and I was like, oh, I look like the shit. Um, and I dyed them like, I thought it was blonde. It was yellow. Um, and I walked around like that for about a year. Really? And yeah. no one told you? No. Did you say you looked like Joe Exotic? I, like continually looked yeah. like him or yeah, you did yeah. look like him? I continually did look like him with the hair. Mm. But like pre-crack, I'd say. Like I look. Was he ever pre-crack? <sighs> Maybe he's a newborn. Mm. I look like the newborn <laughs> Joe Exotic. And I'll put that on my CV any day. I feel like Joe Exotic was kind of sought after though. For a little while. I think people found him quite sexy. Oh, I kind of... Is it bad to say I kind of agree? No. Like, because he was a bit crazy. I thought, yeah. He was so confident that it's a bit hard to it's not find him the attractive. It's the confidence. It's the confidence. Yeah. And I always say this. If you're confident, you can get anyone into bed. I agree. I mean... It's not working for me, but you know, whatever, <laughs> I'm trying. Um, also, we were saying, did your sister have a worm in her leg? Yeah, no, she's, she has present I tense. I think I have seen this on TikTok. Is she on TikTok or is it you posting it? I posted it. That's disgusting. I know, yeah. So what is, can you see it? Yeah, it's, it's like here. Does it move? Yeah, it's moved. It's migrated down from the top of her leg to the bottom. It's just slithered down. Has anyone thought at any point, let's go to a and Yeah, multiple times. I've <laughs> yeah. actually begged, I've pleaded with she her. She won't go. No, no, no. So she went and they gave her like a cream. The cream didn't work. That's going to do They gave it, her some pills. The pills didn't work. Then they sent her to like the tropical disease center. <laughs> right. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. And then they didn't know what it was. So now she's, I am like, like she essentially made me sign like an NDA. I am not allowed to discuss what's going on now because she's like, she thinks it's like shameful. Yeah, but I will to be fair, you. she has yeah. a worm in her yeah. leg. Yeah, yeah. To, what? 
Did she go traveling? Yeah. Yeah. That's And that's why it's scary. She said she was getting it while crossing the border into like Namibia or something. I was like, you don't even know. Gotta go. Yeah. Gotta go. Mm. She, to be fair, sometimes worms can make you skinny though. But that's like different kind of worms, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, but she said that she's not really getting that. That's so shit either way. Point? Yeah, what's, <laughs> what is the point? <laughs> Actually, not. I try and cut it out. I would try and cut it out. Apparently that will give you sepsis. But I just said, just let me like take the whole chunk of your skin out. I'm not going to cut into the worm. It's not going to like goo out into you. I'm going to like scrape the whole layer of your skin off. Would you not pass out seeing a worm inside your sister's leg? Do you not think in a way that would make you go a bit lightheaded? No, I'd be fine. If it was in my leg. Yeah. I like my leg would be off. Maybe you should be a paramedic. There's not many people that could cut out fucking worms of a leg and be fine. Yeah, but I hate sick. Me too. Do I hate sick. You don't strike me as someone that hates I sick. I fuck it. I have a fear of it. Me too. A metaphobia. Yeah. Have you? Yeah. Fuck off. Do you actually? Yeah. Yeah. What's yours like? Because some people I've met, they can't eat chicken. I can't eat chicken. You're a chicken girl. Yeah, I'm a chicken girl. I'm just one of those people that I can't or I can't see someone else be sick. Yeah, fair. Hate that. I'm actually, I'm not that bad seeing other people be sick. Like if they're drunk, it's fine. Well, it's not fine. Right. But it's not that bad. Is it when you're drunk is where you can deal with it? Yeah, if I'm drunk. I've said, right, this is what I'm saying. So people don't get it. Because if I'm drunk, right, I can... I can hear someone or whatever and I'm like, oh, okay, they're being sick. Yeah. And I can maybe just brush it off. Mm. If I'm sober and I hear that shit, I'm out. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm gone, out. Gone very quickly. See you later. Yeah. That's mad because a lot of people can't drink and stuff because of it. I think because I was drinking from so young. Felt that. That yeah. I know my limits and I know that I can I can get away with a lot before I'm going to pee. I've actually never been sick from being drunk. Really? Yeah. My flatmates always said, because I lived in a house of six, right? They'd go, for someone who hates sick, you're sick the most from drinking. You can puke. I I say this though, I'm freaking out while I'm doing it, but it's always when I'm drunk. If I'm mm. sober, I wouldn't be able to do it. Yeah. But because I'm drunk, I'll, I won't remember it. And the next day I'll be like, that was, me- that was mental. Yeah, that's yeah. a bit crazy. Weird. That's scary. Yeah. I'm not at that point. Yeah, it's fine. I'm genuinely you a little do. bit like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like actually terrified. <laughs> when was the last time you were unwell? I feel like it's a curse to say. I, no, I was thinking that. Yeah. I was like, maybe I shouldn't have asked that. But apparently, right, I don't fucking believe this, but there was one night at uni where I was like particularly nitty and I consumed like a foul amount of substances. And I remember sitting on this girl's bed and being like, I am so surprised that I'm not throwing up right now. Like in even me who has not puked <laughs> yeah. once from drinking, I was like, this I'm is, shocked. I'm shocked. I'm impressed. And then I know I went to the toilet. I do not recall my trip to the toilet. Other than that, I lost one of my most prized possessions in there, which was like a little raccoon that I had felt it. Sad. And then one of her flatmates was like, oh yeah, like Madeline threw up loads last night, which is a slay if I did, because that means- And you didn't remember. I got through it. But I, she's like, no, because the thing is, when you're drunk as well, everything's so much more dramatic. So I know when I'm being sick in that moment, I'm like, eh, <laughs> call the ambulance. But then after I'm like, slay, like, let's yeah. go back drinking, like, I love it. Weird. I feel like yeah. everyone has it. Like, not everyone, but loads of people have it. But yeah. like, because everyone's, no one likes sick. No, everyone yeah. thinks it's like a normal thing. Yeah. Everyone's like, oh yeah, I hate it as well. And I'm like, no, no like I, <laughs> I once couldn't leave my house for like three years yeah, at a time. I couldn't do public transport. Could you not? No. I couldn't do fucking anything. Yeah. I was <laughs> yeah. homeschooled. I literally became Why like a you? recluse. Is that the word? Uh, recluse? Re- recluse, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah. fucking blame you. Yeah. It's terrible. Did you have a thing that triggered it? No. Thank you to today's sponsor, Skin and Me. Uh, as usual, I'm glowing. I've got clear skin. Uh, I basically look like Jesus reincarnated and that is because I use skin and me. All you got to do is fill out a form, tell them about your skin. Are you oily? Are you not oily? As you can see, I'm an oily girl. Uh, And then just basically say what kind of skin you want, what you want to work on. And they'll send you your own personalized skincare. So that's moisturizers, cleansers, whatever else skincare that you need. They'll put it on and you'll even have your name on it. So if you bump your head and lose your memory, you'll remember it because it's on your skincare. So that's like a double bargain. Skin and Me not only gives you clear skin, but it can help with aging, pigmentation, acne. It can just basically sort your face out. You will not be ugly anymore. And that's a promise. Usually Skin and Me is £24.99, but if you use the code GRACE, you can get your first month 
for three pound fifty. I think a guy in year three, I remember this so well. His name was Morgan. Fuck you, Morgan, because you fucked me up. He, we were all standing. You know, before break, they'd make you like stand before mm-hmm. you went out or whatever. Anyway, I don't know if that's a normal thing, but um, he was like, "Miss, I feel sick," and she was just talking over him. And then he threw up all over the table, and I was like, "Cool." And then for the next few weeks after that, I'd make them call my mum to take me home because I'd be like, "I feel sick" every single day, and my oh mum would be like, God. "Fucking hell." That's literally traumatic. Isn't that's it? It's fucking disgusting. That's why I could never work at a primary school. Ever. That's what, do you want kids? No. 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 I, if my kid's sick, I'll throw it away. Yeah, literally. I'll throw it away. I'm not doing with that. Or just get rich enough that you've got like a living a babysitter. Yeah, do the Kardashians. Yeah. Don't see your children. Don't even give birth to them. Don't, yeah, no, fuck that. <laughs> fuck oh my that. God, morning sickness. Morning what sickness, are we gonna it can't do? happen. No. What are we going to do? Sorry, girl. Because some people get sick every day for nine months. Yeah, no. Skinny I would, queen, I, though. I, genuinely abortion yes. if i start getting <laughs> sick it's not worth I'm it i'm not made for it no i agree mm. i ha- and also getting fat i don't know if i can be asked no know. i don't think so i feel like we have the figures though where we won't look um pregnant we'll look fat because yeah, we've, we've got like a, a slim build yeah so it will just be our bellies and we're gonna look fat and i've heard that if you have like a small space between your rib cage and your hip bone yeah you carry that way Oh. Which means stretch marks, which slay, but like, no thanks. Not well, I mean, for, if not you're, for a if little you're shitty child. Yeah, if you're choosing, do I want it, do I not want it? Usually you'll go, I'm all right. I'll stick yeah. to without it. Yeah. Well, that was a good conversation. <laughs> Great. If anyone's scared of sick, there will be a helpline somewhere. Yeah. Are you in a relationship, yes or no? Mm. Yeah. Mm. You are? Mm. Okay, love that. Mm. Happy? Good? Mm. Okay, love that. Mm. Won't say any more. That's a yes. Mm-hmm. Next question. Um, <laughs> what is your car and why do you film in there? What? It, how did this start? Because it's cool. It, you got? Have you got an old car? Like what kind of car is 96 it? 96 Vauxhall Astra. Okay, pop off. It's so sick. At least it's not a Corsa. Come on. Yeah, no. That's that would be, I would not be show tragic, anyone that. Yeah. But no offense. I just think, I like when I look at my car, bear in mind it's green. Yeah. I see. Light green, dark green. Midway, like that. Okay, yeah, yeah, the emerald. Oh, I see like a jaguar, like, <laughs> <laughs> like a dark green one. Yeah, that's what I genuinely believe that yeah. I drive, that wholeheartedly believe. Manifestation is fine. Yeah, love that. But so, like, to me, that's like I look cool when I drive it, which that's more of a joke than serious. But I genuinely <laughs> yeah. think it's like a good car. Yeah, and the, my sister's got um insurance on it as well because she fucked her car, so she's on mine, bitch. and um she drove me to the airport once and then I watched her drive away and it was the first time I'd seen the car like in action and I actually burst out laughing like by myself at like 3 a.m. Three <laughs> at Gatwick and I was like, fuck off. Is that what I'm talking <laughs> about? <laughs> it's the most tragic looking vehicle. But at least, well, actually not at least because people can spot you then. That's what's bad and I live in a small place yeah. and like I know that people know <laughs> that I fucking live there. And <laughs> you're coming out of Tesco and they're like, is that a car? Is that what she's driving? Literally. TikTok's very well. The whole front of the bumper is like severely like the left side of the car is just like bashed in. What? I bought it that way. Have you thought to fix it? No, no. I don't. Like if it doesn't impede me driving is. the car. Fine. What am I going to do? Makes it more original. Yeah. Yeah. The license plate is completely smashed. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. And the lady who had it before me lived by the sea. So it's got like, like it looks like someone's taken like oh, knife to paint. All like eroded. Eroded Wind shit. over everything. But I did geography, coastal erosion. Yeah. I've been through it's, it. It's a real thing. It's a fucking it's problem. It is. It's head in there. It is. So you just decided what? To just film in your car? Yeah. And then it went from there? Yeah. Well, I used to live in, um, I was like a lodger. It was so weird. Ooh, okay. Because I had this evil housemate at uni. And I've had evil housemates like every year of my life. But this one was like, an actual like mm, insane bitch really and like i could she was she was like deranged <laughs> brilliant but <laughs> yeah um so i actually moved out like pre like midway through the year and then i lived in this house with like these the, a family like i was literally just a lodger because i was like fuck getting another student house I've got like three months left let Fine. me just like lodge in someone's spare room yeah. why not but then i couldn't film there because they had this like uh... teenager I was like, fuck that. I'm not letting be her like, here. What are you? Yeah. <laughs> Why is she talking to herself? <laughs> so I started filming in my car. Wait, so, sorry. Psycho house. What was she doing? 
oh my god she was actually mental really so she would tr she treated our house like like kind of like a trap house really? and like we would have like we had like six bedrooms and two of them were spare and we would wake up there'd be like six people in each bedroom what? sleeping on the floor like you'd walk down into the kitchen like 2 a.m there would be like four men in the kitchen just like doing things that were not of god not pg no what in my kitchen and all i wanted was like a fucking cup of tea and there was yeah. like Two Maybe 40 a year biscuit. olds. I know. That's weird. Yeah. It was Did you really even weird. Well, were you guys like, can we not can we not do that? We we tried. Yeah, and she Obviously was like, tried. get fucked. She tried to push me down the fucking stairs. I shit you not. Like what? I went upstairs to like tell her one <laughs> night. She's like having one of her like raves in her bedroom and it was like 3 a.m. and I was like, Queen, please go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> like, please. please. Yeah. And um I like knocked on her door. Oh, I actually didn't. I texted her. I snapped at her. And I was Ooh. like, please shut the fuck up. Like, love you, but <laughs> shut up. And then she like banged on my door. And she was like, who are you to tell me to be quiet? And I was like cowering yes, in the corner. Yeah. You may have noticed I'm not a big girl. No. No. She was massive. Petite queen. Yeah. What the hell? She was huge. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> please go. I didn't mean anything. And then I decided not to choose peace i went upstairs <laughs> yeah. and we started having a conversation all my other housemates are there we we're like having it out in the hallway and i called her a bitch and yeah to be fair got be done and she like lurched herself at me to like push me down the stairs because i stood right at the top of them and then no this way. other housemate like got in the way and like pushed her off me but i was shitting myself what the fuck I that's know. the last time you stood next to a set of stairs yeah I've not stood next to them since. That's why I'm in my car. Is that... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bungalows from now on. Yeah. Is that the maddest thing she ever did? I don't... Like, her rice had um, maggots in it. But all the things I thought I you were going to say, that was in it. Yeah. I don't know. Her yeah. rice had maggots in. So we had two fridges. You know how student houses <laughs> yeah. have, like, two fridges? Yeah. Yeah. There was, what, four or five of us living at the house at this point. She moves all of our shit into one fridge, takes nice. the other fridge herself... Like, won't let anyone put shit in the fridge. What? And then just, like, grows maggots in there. Do you think she did it on purpose? She was growing maggots? Potentially. Ugh. What the fuck? No, I'm not yeah. surprised you were a lodger. What did the other girls do? They all stayed there. Yeah. They couldn't... Well, they, they weren't, like, as lucky as me. They were all, like, um, international students. Oh, shit. So I, like, camped out on my mum's for, like, a couple of weeks, found a new place to yeah. stay, went you somewhere else. Fucked, yeah. yeah. But they were, like, they were a bit more stuck because they, they had nowhere else to, like, fuck off to. That's mental. I'd have been on the first plane. Fuck the degree. Yeah. Maggots. Plane. I'm going on the plane. Yeah. That's mad. What other, like, why? Do you, so you've lived with other weird people as well? Yeah. How weird? As weird as that? Like a Nazi. What? I know. This was first year accommodation, so like, I didn't know him. What the fuck is going on? You lived with a Nazi? This is why I fucking hated uni. Every right. year, my house got more and more treacherous. Who the hell? How'd you find out who's a Nazi? From his uh, YouTube. He had a YouTube. Could link it. A Nazi influencer. Now yeah. that is niche. <laughs> no. That is very niche. Yeah. Was he just doing propaganda on it? Propaganda. It was during Brexit, right? This is how we like started to become suspicious of this. They one. always came out during Brexit. Because they were that. so proud of yeah. themselves during Brexit. Oh yeah. They really were. They were. Yeah. We all found out that he was like posting like very severely um, not PG content about like every ethnic and religious group other than like white men. White Christian uh, men. Right. Yeah, right. he was foul. He was wow. impulsive. Wasn't nice to you either, I'm guessing. Wasn't the greatest to me, no. He wow. told me I should go celibate because I was like, <sighs> I had a girlfriend hell. at the time. I said, what would you do if you were if you were bisexual? And he was like, well, I would be celibate to please the Lord. And I was like, <gasps> <"Well, then." laughs> what? Fair enough. Yeah, because yeah. I'm guessing he doesn't like the bisexuals, the gays. No, not a fan. Shit. Yeah. He you was posting on Facebook open. that all Christians should remove their children from mainstream mainstream education because they were going to make same-sex education legal. And so he was like, all oh, Christian parents, you must take your children out of school. Listen, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Lesbians know where it's at. Hmm. At least they know where the clit is. I know. I know he doesn't. I do suspect he might be a virgin. Uh, yeah. He has you... one pair of trousers. Oh. Yeah. Don't want know how many pants. No, we had a little sighting chart in our house. Like, oh, what can I say his name? Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. Aiden sightings. See ya. And um, he was wearing the same white trousers for the next three years. Really? Every single time, white trousers. Disgusting. White? Yeah, Even I know, worse. brave. I, I was I thinking am, like blue. I feel like he had like at least five pairs. Ooh. Yeah. Not the, were they skinny? 
No, they. Oh, do you know what I was upsetting? Because I actually had this hair that was trend. identical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, nice, they looked a bit better on me. <laughs> I like. I bet they did. <laughs> That's mad. Yeah, stinky. No. Well, I didn't really have anything like that. I don't think. Do you know? Had one guy in my um, uni course. We found his Twitter, and he was like, "Fucking women should have no rights." Um, like talking about like black people but then funnily enough because he was a weird guy in my class anyway like he never used to speak to anyone mm. and funny enough the only person that would actually make an effort with him um was this girl grace in our class other grace and she was black so i was like the irony because the only person that's actually nice to you is someone that you don't do you know what I mean? And he was like doing all this at on the same Twitter. time. Yeah, yeah. Nice. We found it and we were like, fuck, we better not stay in the same room alone with this man. No, probably he not. He might kill us. He might kill you. He yeah. will. He will, yeah. Have any drug dealers in your uh, accommodations or anything? A couple, yeah. Yeah. One of ours Good went to jail. Why? So upsetting. That's not fair. I know. He, he I can't even say his name, but <laughs> he was in our first year. He got moved because basically, right, he got kicked out of his first halls. Hmm. Um, for selling drugs and trying to beat up the security guard, right? So I was like, big All sleigh. fair enough. Yeah, yeah, big sleigh. So then he came to us and he was like the most nice person to us. Terrifying. Terrifying guy. Had kids all over Britain. Really? Yeah, didn't father them. No. Um, you know, he'd be going, I'm not washing up my fucking pot. And we'd be going, fair enough, yeah. How dare I ask you oh, no. to wash up your pot? He's in jail again now. Again? Free Moses, yeah. For fuck's sake. How are you keeping up with it? Don't know. He's, got, he's on Snapchat. Of course he is. He yeah. is on Snapchat. Does he have his phone in there? Yeah. Of course he I does. like to keep up with what's going on, oh, the yeah. little jail banter they have. Oh, yeah. I enjoy it. I think jail Snapchat is better than normal Snapchat. It definitely is. They look like so, they're having a brilliant time in they're there. They're cooking in the kettles. I know. And it actually looks good. And all of them are funny. There's yeah. not one person <laughs> yeah. in prison that is not funny. Maybe not the paedophiles though. Not them. No. But... I wouldn't be in that section anyway. No. I don't know. What, I would hope do you think not. I'd last in jail? Yeah. That Actually, I think you might confident. thrive. Really? Yeah, I think you Stop might it. thrive. Did you see the video of someone saying that um, Snapshot Eye, that weird creepy <laughs> guy? <laughs> yeah. You saw the video. It's, it's the I'm Alex guy. Oh, what? The guy The guy who went to prison saying how he'd... He would be in like vulnerable person's yeah. wing. I see it. Yeah. He's witchy. Does he come up on yours as well? Only like duets of him come up on mine. Nah, he used to come up on mine all the time. And I used to be like, look, stop being mean. Like that's mean to judge someone. You know, he just wants people to smile. Mm. He just wants... He is a bit weird though. He has definitely got fucking some weird. like real allegations against He's got some big <laughs> old fucking allegations. On, yeah. He needs to go to the police. Yeah. But I, it just makes me die that we see people's stuff and they're probably thinking... There's no way that they see our shit. Like, if they knew we saw it, they'd be like, what? Do you reckon? Like, Elphaba. I fucking adore Elphaba. Mood. She's a I mood will all protect day, every day. her with my fucking I life. Agree. She's I agree. She's brilliant. She can sing Wicked to me any day of the week. Okay, here's the thing, though. She, you know, she lives in like flats. Yeah. Oh, yes. I can't stand by the noise pollution <laughs> yes. because. <laughs> yeah this girl does not make any effort to shush and it is all hours day and night and i can just imagine all the time if i was the neighbor i'd set fire to the building i will be honest i would fucking murder her she needs to live in a house i think i think she needs to live in a fully detached house let's all collectively get together get her house she so deserves she it anyway to her heart's content i know i love it today's sponsor of the podcast is better help we all need to speak to someone whether it's about a big thing a small thing Whatever you need, it's always good to talk to someone. It will help you to be yourself, be less stressed, be more confident. And BetterHelp provides professional therapists that you can talk to. It's entirely online. So if you're one of those people that don't really feel comfortable leaving the house or if you just can't be bothered, BetterHelp is for you. So all you've got to do is fill out a quick survey and you get matched to the therapist that will be best for you. And if you don't like them, if they're a proper stinker, you can just swap to get a different one. If you want to get started on BetterHelp, go to betterhelp.com slash saving grace to get 10% off of your first month. So again, that's betterhelp.com slash saving grace for 10% off of your first month. Thanks again for sponsoring today's pod. TikTok boxing, would you ever do it? Oh yeah. Would you? If anyone was like brave enough to like take me on. Let's go. I'd, yeah. I'd lose. Me and you. 100%. <laughs> I'd be like, has anyone got a mirror? Like, right. <laughs>
<laughs> Someone would just have to gag and we'd both leave the ring. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, fair I enough. would gag to get you off me and then yeah, I'd be win. screaming. I'd be like, music. <laughs> <laughs> How much money would you have to get paid to do an actual TikTok boxing match? Be serious. Like not, not that much. Fiverr. If they gave me like a really cool outfit. Really? You'd actually do it? No. Have you had a scrap before? I've literally never even like flipped anybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This could have been, yeah, okay, fine. Yeah. Fine. What about you? Yeah, well, have I? Yeah, two. One at school, but that, I don't even know what that was. I probably wasn't hitting. One with uh, one of my mates. Mm. Um, that was embarrassing though, because we were both blackout drunk. I walked into a, I don't know if I'm allowed, I'll cut this out if I'm not allowed to say it. I went, <laughs> what's going on? And she thought, because we were both drunk, she thought I said she's putting it on. We just start scrapping. I'm in my pain. Do you even know why? No. No. I, she just came up to me in violence and I thought, fuck it, I've got back myself. Yeah, fair enough. So then I'm in my penguin pajamas because yeah. it's lockdown, 11 p.m. We're both fighting. All the neighbors are watching me fight in penguin pajamas. But yeah, we recovered from that the next day. It was fine. Um, quite a sight. Quite a. Especially yeah. at 11 p.m. It was. I think it was the Lord's Day as well. I think it was a Sunday. Was it? Yeah. So maybe I should do a TikTok boxing match. I think you should. <laughs> Be shit. I'm like, my extension. <laughs> Get off. <laughs> what the fuck? I want to go see one. I've never seen one live though. Are they really scripted? They're not, are they? Well, I'm going to pretend that they're not. There was HS's and um, Ed's did one, but they both looked like off their nut. Really? Did you watch it? No. Yeah, yeah, like they went to the camera after they were like, I'm really glad that I won. And I was like, fuck, you know, is there any rules? I bet it felt great for them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Next question. <laughs> um, you've got a lot of embarrassing moments. I just know it. Your story times. I know you're prone. I can feel it. Mm. What's your most embarrassing moment that's ever happened? Ever? Yeah. Oh, the one that hell. really sticks out to you. I even like posted a video about this the other day, but it's taken me that long Ooh, to say anything. I'm scared. But it's when I literally shit on someone's floor. Sorry? Yeah. Shit on someone's floor. Bathroom or? Bathroom. But she fuck it. Like, there's no way she didn't hear. Like, there's no way. And I replay it in my head all the fucking time. And I'm like, how did she? She asked to see me again after. That's the craziest thing. We were oh, on a it was date. like a romantic setting yeah. and you shat on her floor. Yeah. How do you even get to that? Why toilet? Yeah, no, like for some reason I just like opted to like squat. Were you drunk? No. Oh. Yeah. Even worse. Even worse, yeah. I know. Yeah. So you just floor. squat on her bathroom floor. Mm-hmm. And shit. Shat. Yeah. And what did you do with that after? See, what do you do with that? I just with your hands? Well, like with toilet, toilet roll. Okay. Do you know what? As long as there's toilet paper. Oh, there was toilet paper. That's fine. But I think the main problem <laughs> was, was like, it did not resolve my issue. Like if you're going to go as far <laughs> yeah. as to shit on the floor, yeah. you want like it to be, the ordeal is done. Gone. The ordeal was really not done. Really? So I ended up having to tell her a big fat lie. And I was like, <laughs> I am getting a phone call. It was my birthday. Happy birthday. It was my 21st. That's how I entered. No, no, it was my 20th. <laughs> so I was bald and shitting on her floor. Oh, so God, I violated like her like at that point. Yeah. yeah, literally. Squat over. <laughs> like I was, yeah, and she was gorgeous. Like so sexy. Shit. She looked like Billie Eilish. Wow. Yeah. And you shat on her floor. And I shat on her floor. So what, you just said I got a phone call? I went back into her room and I was like, I got my sister to ring me and I was like, oh, it's my dad. Mm. It's my birthday. I have to go home. He's like, come over. It's like 5 a.m. Like there's no Your dad's reason. sending you, you up text. Yeah. Nice. Love that. Okay. <laughs> of course. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why not? Okay. But yeah, so then I, I lied to her face and I went home and I think I like cried the entire way home and then I got home and I was like, no one fucking talked to me. I'm going to bed. And my family was like, it's your birthday. Like, welcome home. How's your date? And I was like. I shout on the floor. <laughs> I've shat on the floor. If you, you need to, to fucking me. know, mum, I've shat on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to bed. And I did. I slept like the whole day. Oh, that's really sad. It is a bit. But maybe she didn't know. Like you you took the shit off the floor. Well, I did. Yeah, I took the shit off the floor and she asked to see me again. Yeah, you were fine. You cried for nothing. And, but she might know now. I wonder if she does. If she sees it, would she think it? She probably wouldn't even suspect that it was her. Because I think I got away with it. Every girl that you've ever gone to the toilet in their house now is going to be sniffing their tiles. 
That's a lot as well. Yeah, that's 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 a lot. (laughs) (laughs) Wow, love that Mm. shitty pants. I wouldn't. I don't think I've had any shit stories like that. It's kind of upsetting. I've never had. I've never shat myself. I've never shat somewhere. Really? Yeah. To be fair, that's my only experience where I've shit somewhere I shouldn't shit. Okay, fine. That's pretty good. Going, that's, yeah, that's actually not too bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe I should. Maybe my New Year's resolution is to have an embarrassing shit story. New Year's resolution. Yeah. September. I'm starting early. Fair enough. Is it? It's October. No, to be it's fa- September. Okay. Yeah. I listened to an Emma podcast and she was talking about her New Year's resolutions and I got motivated and I wrote down half of one of my notes up and then I fucked it off. Yeah. As I just don't stick to them. So what's the fucking point? Literally. What is the point? point? I'm like, I'm going to do 10,000 steps a day. Yeah. Don't leave my bed. Am I fuck? Am I fuck? This is it. I could never be a gym girl. No, I wish. I, I have this theory. I'm going to move to London, live in like an apartment building with yeah. a gym. Right. That's my era. Yeah. That, I'm going to get fit. I'm not. You're not. I'm not. But the thought. The thought's there. Is you can still move to London. I'll still be paying the rent prices. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for utilizing You'll just the gym. be eating as well. Yeah. A lot. I'll just be a bit more depressed because I'm in London. Fuck it. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. I yeah. want to move to London, but I'm also like, my mental, my mental health. I know. It's not going to look good. If I'm here for more than three days, I cry. I do agree. I actually do agree. Mm. I think it's something in the smog. Yeah. Of the air. Yeah. I've got a Q&A. You've got a Q&A? I've got a Q&A. Okay. Okay, so I asked for a QA and a and someone said, squirt in my mouth. So what we're going to do is... I wouldn't gonna, mind. Well... Although I can't figure it out. I'm not a squirter either. I cannot. I've tried. tried. People are like, it feels like you're going to piss yourself. And I'm like, yeah. And then I probably just do piss myself. I don't I, know. I, I, yeah. Yeah. I genuinely think I... Yeah. I, it's not a thing that I can do. No. I it's, think, there's no um, oomph. Yeah. I just feel relief because I've pissed myself. <laughs> That's all I've done. <laughs> yeah. I wholeheartedly agree. No disappointing some people are squares and if you are but everyone that is a squirter makes it out like oh you can learn you just have to figure it out you can't learn and why am i learning anyway Hmm. what am i gaining from this i yeah does it feel any nicer i don't think it does i think it's just like a bit exciting but yeah i mean it's raining suddenly Mm. and then it's done yeah you've drank my piss yeah Anyway. anyway ever done no ever consider only fans i did briefly and then I was like, no offense, but like... Did OnlyFans or considered it? Considered it. Mood. Yeah. Yeah. I think everyone has, I'll be honest. It's hard not to. Yeah. But also like, what what facilities do I have to provide for people? Exactly. Not much. Not much. I could maybe do like a stand up on my OnlyFans and then they can buy it. Yeah. And even have that. you seen that girl who just queefs? Pardon? You've seen her? No. No. What? You've not seen her? Just... On she, command? No, but like she does it on TikTok. Me? But like what? she should really like monetize her content. You've not seen her. Give me like she a does situation. like twenty second long queefs. You've not seen her. No, kind of upset that I haven't seen her. Yeah, she's okay. brilliant. Fucking hell. Mm. To be fair, there's a girl I know, and she queefs all the time. Once what, a guy in real was, life. Yeah, yeah. Nice. A guy was fingering her, and he had to de-queef her. De-queef. Yeah. What like, do you mean? He was fingering her. I, she is going to kill me for even talking <laughs> about this. He was fingering her and then he went, one sec, like lifted lifted her open and she just no. de-queefed and he went, that's better. And I thought, you can't come back from that, can you? What could he like feel? I think he could feel the air pressure. It was like a virgin airways up there. It was that not good. Is fucked. Cabin pressure. Is she all right? I think she's fine. Did she recover? She, I, we did bully her about that for quite a while. It's sweet that she told you. Yeah, she shouldn't have. No. Because we will never let that go. No. Sometimes it happens. Until I get dequeefed, I will continue to laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Worst kiss story. Oh. Ooh. Did Ooh. I just give you a bit of PTSD? Oh, yeah, you actually have. Sorry. I can't lie. <laughs> it's fucking shocking. Oh. It's one of those where you can't get away. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I've been paid 20p. This is probably the only, the closest to like only Big fans. numbers. Yeah, big, yeah. Big numbers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And there's actually a video of it, which is like the no. worst part. I must have been like 16. And I didn't know how bad it was until I watched this video back. Yeah. <laughs> like he was like here, but his like his top lip is here. His bottom lip is fully here. He was eating you. He was consuming my face. And there was nothing I could do because to get my 20p, I had to stick at it for a minute. A minute? A minute. That's a long time kissing. It's quite a painful video, yeah. It's not a good video. Fucking hell. I could probably sell that. He's going to sell it first or someone else going to sell that first. I'll tell you that for free. 
fucking watching you, Michael. I won't be pleased. Michael. Michael. He's Michael. Big kisser. Mm. I mean, that's a red flag in itself. Michael. Michael. Yeah. Michael, the big lip boy. He mm. wasn't even big lipped when I said that. <laughs> right. This is a good one. How to approach a girl if you're a girl without looking like you just want to be friends with them. I always say this. Right? You're in the club. This is just, I don't know why we're in a club. We're in a club, mm -hmm. right? See a girl. You like girls. She likes girls. But you don't know that each other likes girls. Mm -hmm. You can't go up to her and go, like your dress. Because she'll just think, oh, sweet. She yeah. wants to know where it's from. Mm -hmm. What's the approach? Okay. Yeah. I don't know why people struggle with this so much because it's literally like child's play. Really? Yeah. I'm struggling. You've got to break the touch boundary immediately. Not oh. in a non-consensual scary way. Right. If you go up to her. Grab a pussy. I'm going to hit on you, Grace. Okay. Okay. I'm consent. ready. Thank it's a you. Pleasure. Right. Yep. I've walked up to you. Yep. Yeah. I like your top. Up. Thank you. I like yours. Right. Now I'm going to like move closer to you. Okay. And you're, you're going to say, you said you like my top. I like your top. I say thanks. Mm. Your necklace is cool. Were you born in 1999? I was, yeah. When were you born? Now I'm going to touch your fucking necklace. Oh, okay. And you're going to either let me know you're like mad uncomfortable. Right. In which case, I'll be like, oh, Disgusting yeah. from me. Yeah. Poor behavior. Poor. Should be shunned. Hmm. Or you're going to let me, cool, you're gay. Like, I've never even thought about that. That's a good point. It's all about physical touch. Like my friend went on her first date with a girl and, I, and she was like, how do I make sure it doesn't fall into a friendship? And I was like, literally like sit so that your thighs are touching under the table. Right. Or like knock her foot under the table. Something like that. Yeah. Like give a sign. Friends don't touch like that. So just like if you're breaking that little boundary. Yeah. In a comfortable they'll way. Know. They'll know. I didn't even, do you know what? I didn't even think about that. Mm. You just got to be a bit creepy. Uni. Like that's how boys do it. Just boys be a creep. are weird though. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah be a man just be a man but don't be a man don't be no a man. one wants that have you ever had an embarrassing sex story <sighs> i'm gonna say when i lost my virginity that was pretty bad i was gonna say lose it had to be losing virginity surely Ooh, what went down was with it you? bad yeah bad oh girl or boy girl always worse when it's a girl always worse. yeah i do agree it because it's a bit more like intimate and it's more embarrassing because they do you know what i find right with a guy, you can fake, you know, you don't know. They're going to have a good time. They're basically. a bit clueless. Yeah. yeah. And they're going to have a great time, yeah. whether you do whatever. With girls, you know, oh my God, they're probably not going to have a good time. Where yeah. are they having a good time? I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. And, and they're just more, doing. more. they're just more aware of what the fuck's going on. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And they know what you're thinking and feeling. So you can't hide it and be like, you yeah, can't I'm fake cool. it. No. Because they're like, I know that moan. Yeah. You're a liar. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Once I rolled off the bed and fell off the bed. And I thought maybe we just shouldn't do this again. Mm. Yeah. Did you? No. no. Well, no, I did, but not with her. Not with her. I thought we can't recover from that. Mm. And her boyfriend was waiting at home and I didn't realize. You're joking. Yeah. I mean, it's all fun and games now. But yeah, it wasn't great. That's not great. It's not great. Not great. Not no. great on her behalf. No, I mean, look, what else can you do? You're a uni. True. you know she was having a great time i'm sure um but yeah i feel like with girls it's more dramatic because did you ever when you were younger look up on youtube like how to kiss yeah yeah that yeah. was my shit or girls kissing yeah oh mine was a bit weird though i <laughs> right i used to look up emo boys kissing emo why not sure genuinely not sure but that was my kink do you know what mm. i think you remember dan and phil yeah I think most girls like them in a, in a kink way. I hear it. Yeah. I think that actually, I do think that's what started it. Yeah. Tumblr. Yeah. And I'd go straight on that and be like, yeah, I miss, my boys. I miss the content from Tumblr. I used to be a depressed bitch on Tumblr. I used to love it. Same. You know when you could put the songs on the background yeah, of yeah. Tumblr? Yeah, yeah. That was be a bit brilliant. Seer. Yeah. Breathe me. It was incredible. <sighs> Just reblog like con inconspicuous things. Yeah. Or like weird sexual gifts. Yeah. I was a virgin. Oh, me too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember specifically one time I was talking to this girl. It was like my first like girlfriend yeah. sort of thing. We had not had sex. And I reblogged something. I think about this all the time. I reblogged something that said, <laughs> yeah. said, I won't like drink like lukewarm water, but I'll like put other people's genitals in my mouth. And I reblogged it. I was like, yeah, she's going to think I've had sex. <laughs> Reblog. <laughs> yeah. Didn't and did she? No. Okay, no. fine. Well, yeah, she got you in the bedroom. She was like, Pfft. yeah, she got figured that one out pretty <laughs> yeah. quickly. Me. I hate my mm. life. Molly May's pregnant. Give me yeah. your thoughts on that. It's quite sweet, isn't it? 
It's quite sweet. It is quite sweet. I actually quite like Molly Ray, I have to say. I love her. I think, you, thank you. Yeah. Every time I say it, people are like, Ugh. No. And I'm like, right, I quite like her. I think she's sweet. She's fine. Although I do say the announcement was like a perfume advert. What, the picture? The black and white. Yeah. That was a bit like a perfume advert. But. But that's sort of her, it, her it, niche. How would you announce like if you were pregnant? Advert. How would you announce it? Me. Yeah. Bun in the oven, morning sickness rife. How are you announcing it? I think I'm waiting till Ooh. it's out. Kylie dressing Jenner. it up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what I'd do. M- M- do you know what I'd do? I'd get the scan photo and then pretend to be chugging a bottle of wine. So then it would get <laughs> people talking. Is she keeping it? Isn't she keeping it? Is she keeping it? Um, and then I just let it pop out a few yeah, months later. A little bit deformed. Yeah. Well, mate. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I think my mum probably drank when she had me, and I think oh, I turned yeah. out all right. Well, did I? Mm-hmm. Don't know. Just about. Got a bit of a wonky eye. But apart from <laughs> that, fuck it. What can you do? No, I think it's fine. I think I think like hard launching it is the best way to go. No, no scans. No, like it gets everyone talking. Sixteen weeks. No, I think just go full in. Full in. Fully. And you can't get the little um the like brand deals. Like I, I'm not oh, paying true. for a pram. No, I'm true. sorry. That's true. Nappies. True. Fucking I don't know what else you need for a child. Dummies. Yeah. Milk. I'm not breastfeeding either. These two are staying perky. No. Absolutely not. Does breastfeeding but deflate? Sag, run dry. Really? Sag to the floor, hundred percent. Yeah. Fucks that. There up. is nothing for me to have sag, but <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be like a saggy nipple. Yeah. Time. Yeah. That was an awful <laughs> picture in my straight head. straight so. up my toes. Yeah. It's not nice. Thank you. No, but I think um, it would be quite exciting to get pregnant on the basis that for like nine months I would have tits. Yeah. Because I've, it's not something I've ever experienced. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah. yeah me- true. <laughs> I meant I get you. I get you. I never used to have tits until I ate pasta every day at uni. Really? And then I just kind of grew. Oh, yeah. I eat pasta every day and I still don't have any tits. I'm sure you have tits. I know. You are just wearing a baggy jumper. Got no tits. Okay, well, you know yeah. what? Yeah, some of the most famous models don't have titties. And look at them. True. Kylie, no, Kendall Jenner. Does she not have tits? Bella not Hadid. Really. Yeah, true. Yeah, none of the fuckers have tits. And they're millionaires. <laughs> if anyone else is listening with no tits, I really hope that helped you. Anyway. <laughs> If not, we'll get you to, uh, is it Raya, Maya? What's the... <laughs> Maya, the, the yeah. Surgeons. We'll get you to Maya. Well, Raya's that weird dating app. Have it? you... No, I'm not. I didn't get accepted. I'm still on the waiting list. Well, I can't now, but... Have you actually applied? I applied two years ago. I hit, had like a 100k on TikTok. I'm like, I'm eligible It's now. time. It is time. Is that what it takes? 100k? Well, clearly not. I'm still on the fucking waiting list yeah. for about two years. I feel like it's got to be the smartest scan ever. 100%. Because apparently, when you... Who got on it? Was it... Was it Reese? Chair's a blonde bitch. I think she got on there or someone got on there that I know and she was like, no one famous is even on the British one. Really? It's just like London workmen mm. that work at banks. How the fuck? Why? What? What's the point? I thought it was for creative people. That's what I fucking thought. I was thinking, oh, probably Noah Beck. Yeah. Or like Channing Tatum. Yeah. No one. That's rogue. Yeah, so I was just on Inge for ages. Fair enough. I like Hinge. I quite like Hinge. Better than Tinder, 100%. Yeah. Way more. You never get anything out of Tinder. Fuck. I never reused really Tinder, to be fair. Mm. It was all for, I think the ugliest, were so rude, but the ugliest people on Tinder. Oh. No, I have to agree. I'm sorry. I know that's really horrible. The but girl that wouldn't leave my house was off Tinder. And it's you know scary. what? There we go. Yeah. We're single-handedly getting Tinder shut down. I know. You're welcome. Well, it's also just like, you say you go on Tinder for a shack. How many shags have you actually got off Tinder? I've ne- Do you know, I've never shagged anyone off a dating site. I'm actually like... That's t- that's good. But I've never had that. I'd never, I'd just scared I'll get killed. I yeah. don't know what to say to them. Hello. Like, yeah. I don't. Because you're also meeting up knowing you're about to have sex. Yeah. But I've never had a date even off one. Really? Yeah. The only dates I've had is people that I've like met before or like met once before. Mm. So at least then I can be like, how are you? Since yeah. then I saw you. So that's good. I'll probably, probably not go far with that. My last question is, if you had any advice for me, Saving Grace is the podcast name. Like, if you had any life advice for me, a tip, what would it be? 
anything at all. Anything at all. This means I just have to Don't pick something me. I've like seen as your weak point. Yeah, they'll be like, get point. rid of your ankle swingers. I shrunk them in the dryer. Did you? No, I quite like that they are ankle swingers. I appreciate that. I yeah, appreciate that. They're cool. Okay. What are the shoes doing? Not much. No. Um, what are they? Puma? I think so. Who got sent them? Yeah, Puma. I'm bringing them back. I see. Okay. I have no, <laughs> I have right. no advice. That's your advice is you've got no advice. Got, no, I live in my fucking car. Maybe I should live in my car. Maybe should, what car have you got? Mazda 2. Not worth living in well, really, is it? Well, you say this though. I've crashed it a lot. It's never dented. Really? Yeah. It's made of mm. fucking steel. Fucking and I reverse hell. into shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a woman driver. <laughs> through and through. Like, give us that name. Fucking hell. I reversed in someone else's car the other week, smashed their brake lights and drove off. Yeah, maybe my advice to you is not drive. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Or just... Maybe. Not fix any dents on your car. Do you know what? I once got away with crashing, so fully rear-ending someone at 30 miles an hour because um, he, for some reason he was like, he didn't take my license plate, probably because it was smashed all over yeah, the road. Yeah, you couldn't even read it. So he took my name and my number. Then like a week later, he was like, hey, it's the guy from the crash. Like, can I have your license plate and your insurance details? Just and I just it. went, oh, I think she's giving you the wrong number. That's unfortunate. Changed my WhatsApp name. She's giving you the wrong number. Great. Yeah. Go out of that one. If he watches this though, he's going to be like, yeah, it was her. No, see, I don't feel bad because it was a company car. Oh yeah, fuck him. So there's not even any guilt. Fuck him. It wasn't his. It was his like <sighs> boss's lorry. So that's not my problem, that's your advice. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Do hit and runs. They're do cheaper. <laughs> And if anyone asks for your name and number, just tell them it was the wrong number. Yeah. Great advice. Thank you yeah. very much. Give them a fake name. Why Thank not? you for coming on. That's it's been right. a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Anytime. If you've been watching, give it a like and subscribe. And if you've been listening, give it a five-star review and a follow. See ya.